Stocks, real estate, which is a better investment? You've got experts on both sides. But in today's video, I'm gonna break down the differences and the historical returns. I'm Brian Wagers at Elevate Commercial Investment Group, where we share expert advice on investing passively in multifamily apartments for high growth professionals like you. So let's take a look at which provides the highest returns, has the most tax benefits, and is the less volatile. First, we'll look at the higher returns. Historically, if you've placed your money in the stock market, you've seen anywhere from six to 12% average returns. If now, if you look at multifamily real estate investing in that same period, we can see returns from upwards of 18 to above 22% annually. So you can see those are much better returns in the overall picture, and that can really contribute when you start compounding those returns to your investment profile. Something that contributes to that is cash flow and appreciation. When you're investing in stock market, you may have very small dividends. Not all stocks give out dividends where you're seeing two to 4%, but in multifamily real estate, we see upwards of six to 8% and even higher from cash flow. Cash flow is something that you can live off of. Now, when you're in your stock market, you may pool from your stock market portfolio, but in essentially you are taking from your balance. So when it comes to higher returns, multifamily is a clear winner. Now let's take a look to see how stocks match up against our next benefit, taxes. So let's take a deeper look at tax benefits. Again, when we're talking about tax benefits, everybody's situation is different. I definitely advise you to talk to your CPA. And with your CPA, I would wanna make sure I get one that understands real estate and understands multifamily real estate. Not all CPAs are created the same. So with stocks, you can get a tax benefit from contributing to your 401k or your Roth IRA. The max benefit contribution is just over $20,000. With multifamily real estate, depending on your situation, there could be no max benefit, depending on how much you're earning. Now with real estate, you may or may not know, you can depreciate the building. Even though the value is going up on paper, net operating income is increasing, the market is appreciating, and your value is going up. But on paper, the IRS gives that building a shelf life of 27 and a half years. So you can depreciate it on the 27 and a half year schedule. Now with multifamily real estate and commercial real estate, you can run those on what's called a bonus depreciation schedule. So you're shortening that to a five year schedule, just about how long we own properties for. So you're accelerating that depreciation in a five year term, and you're getting those benefits within those five years at an accelerated rate. So you're having a lot of tax savings that you can then invest those savings into another vehicle. So when we're comparing tax benefits, multifamily again is the clear winner. Let's go into our last topic of volatility. Depending on your situation, when you're looking to retire, when you're looking to live off your passive income, volatility can play a major aspect in what your financial projection. Is. Now we're gonna look at both the stock market and real estate again, and the history of how they have both performed. In September 29th, 2008, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 777 points, making it the largest point drop to date, prior to 2020 that is. By March 2009, it had dropped more than 50%. In 2008, that was a large predicament if you were in a position to retire. And that was the largest that we had seen up to that date. Now, fast forward to 2020, you saw even larger corrections in the stock market. I'm gonna read some of the points right now. March 16th, 2020, we saw almost a 3,000 one-day point loss. Between February and March, that was a lead up to that almost 3,000 point loss, starting in February with a 1,000 point loss. Now, from 2020 to 2022, there was a rally, you could say, to get its way back up. But now in 2022, if you were in another position to try to retire off of your income from the stock market, you would also be not in the most ideal situation as we're seeing stock market corrections happen again. So if we look back from 1929, the last century 
there's been two real estate crashes, 1929 and 2008. In that same time period, the stock market has seen over 12 drops of 20% or more. So if you're in a position where you wanna be in a predictable, reliable way to grow your wealth, you would think that real estate would be the clear winner when you're trying to predict how much you're going to retire on. Now, if we look even further at multifamily real estate, multifamily real estate performed much better in the 2008 crash than any other real estate did combined. So who won in volatility between multifamily and the stock market? I think the clear winner again is multifamily. So multifamily is one of the best wealth vehicles you can be in during a recession. Check out my next video on the screen to learn more.